Jen, she's willing to bend on business tax cuts, but some Republicans aren't buying it, accusing her of engaging in a political stunt. Offering a multi-million dollar olive branch in the ongoing budget stalemate, Governor Maggie Hassan says she will accept and accelerate Republican-backed business tax cuts. The plan I'm proposing will lower the business profits tax to 7.9 percent for the 2016 tax year. Three years earlier, with the reductions paid for. I think she's headed in the right direction. I mean, she's definitely putting some, she's putting a proposal that we go further and make larger tax reductions, but she wants to pay those with tax increases. That's not acceptable. But Governor Hassan aims to make up for lost revenue with corresponding increases in the cigarette tax and car registration fees. But those are automatic deal killers for House Speaker Sean Jasper, who believes the governor's talk of compromise is just for show. Well, frankly, given that she unveiled it at a press conference and we received it at the same time the press conference was going on, it seems like more like political grandstanding to me than an actual attempt to compromise. House Democrats say it's time to come up with a budget plan that can win bipartisan consensus. They believe Republican attempts to override the governor's budget veto will not succeed. Governor's veto will be sustained, so we might as well have a budget package ready to go in right behind it. If politics is going to be the uh, game plan, then this could go on until October, it could go on until January, and it's needless and uh, does not serve the people of New Hampshire well. Whether this is able to jumpstart the budget negotiation process remains to be seen, but Speaker Jasper says even if he wanted to support this compromise, he doesn't think he'd have the votes to pass it in the House. Reporting live in Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.